In today's Madden 21 tip video, we're going to be bringing you a free mini scheme from the Atlanta Falcons offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is designed to help you improve in Madden NFL 21. I do that through free tips, free strategies. I also have a free community Discord and so if you haven't already joined the Discord, Discord is basically a place where you can get your questions about Madden 21 answered. You can also um, learn from other players, not just myself, but other um, really, really solid Madden players and you can also set up lab games um, with some of our other uh, competitors in that guide or in that discord so be sure to join that the link to join that is in the description of this video all right guys so Atlanta Falcons playbook this is one of the best playbooks early on uh, a lot of pro players are enjoying this playbook and we're gonna be breaking down a couple of specific plays but the audibles that you're gonna want to set are eight Atlanta sale Atlanta cross Atlanta verticals and then I personally really like to set uh, clear out as Seattle as an audible and I personally really like to come out in bunch trail or um, or ATL sale. So whichever play you don't like to come out in, I would uh, come out in the opposite. So um, for this video, we're gonna come out in ATL sale. This is one of the best concepts in Madden 21 early on in the year. Now again, guys, this is gonna be an entire um, scheme throughout the course of the week. So we're gonna have one video drop every single week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can catch the, the later videos to come. But this is the base formation. This comes from a philosophy of playing Madden that I learned when I was first starting called the five sets for success. And the five sets for success in, in short, uh, revolve around a simple formula for a way to create a game plan or a scheme. You need to have a base formation, something that you can run pretty much all the time. That's gonna give you a really good grasp of what the defense is trying to do. The second thing is you need a blitz beating formation, something that when they're going heavy pressure, you can audible to this formation and you can have some really, really solid quick passes. Third thing you need is three headed rush attack. Can you run the ball very well from the right side, left side, and to the middle of the field? And then you need a zone beater and a man beater. And then last but not least, an X factor formation that is a red zone X factor, something that you can use inside the 20 yard, inside the 10 yard line when you get down in those nitty gritty and those hard yards to get in Madden. So that's the basis for this five sets for success scheme. It was taught to me by Z Farrells and S Gibbs, probably back in Madden uh, 11 or Madden 12. And so hopefully this can help kind of give you guys an idea of the content that you can expect. Now again, we're gonna post one of these videos every single day on the channel. We post four times on the, on the channel anyways, so make sure you subscribe so you can get access to those. All right, Atlanta sale, let's jump in here. So as a general rule, you wanna run the bunch to the wide side of the field. So you can flip this formation very, very fast. So if you need to, you're in a situation where you know huddle, you can easily flip the formation. Now, what is this play going to do for you against man-to-man? -man? Well, I'm about to show you. So first things first, what I like to do is just motion Calvin Ridley out to the right a couple steps. And what you're going to see here is he's going to beat man with a low ball. You can low ball that route to Calvin Ridley pretty consistently against man. It's going to get in a very unique part of the defense. We'll show that to you right here. So again, just motion him out to the right here a couple steps. Comes back in, low ball, and you see there he's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So we've got a man beater on the left side. But you've also got one of the best post routes in Madden 21 on the, the uh, left side. You have the uh, man beating sail route over here to the right side. We're going to show you this post route to Julio Jones. This is probably the best post route that you can get. As you see there, it gets that nice diving catch animation. This is going to give your opponent something he's going to have to watch on both sides of the field right from the start. Now, what's also really cool is you can smart route both of those routes. So if you want him to go a little shorter or a little deeper, depending on what the defense does, you can certainly do that. So those are your two uh, quick reads against man. As you see here, we're gonna play a little, we're gonna do a little bit of a high-low uh, combination. So I'll show you what this looks like against zone. So if I go cover four, what you're gonna see is Calvin Ridley, that little deep, it's basically gonna be a flood on the right side of the field. You're just gonna pick one of the routes. As you see right here, we're gonna pick the flat route, get a quick five. Um, or so yards. Now, one of the things that I personally do like to do is I actually really like to drag tight ends this year. I think it works really, really well, especially against man and zone. Um, so if you want to do that, you can also do that. As you see there, there's that sail route, a uh, little C route beating man to man to the outside. So now you've got some different reads against different coverages. Now, one of the things that you're going to get a lot of is you're going to get a lot of cover two when you run bunch. You're going to get a lot of uh, cover two, cover three, which you'll see here this post route is going to get really in tender spot against all of it. There, I threw it a little bit late. Depending on the zone, you can pass lead it for whatever zone that you want to face. So, for example, if they are 
uh, let's say they run like cover three. Then you're going to see he's going to step inside. You're going to click on and make that catch right there. Again, you want to have your best receiver running that route um, because you're going to need to have that user catch ability. Julio Jones is perfect for the Falcons to run this. What you see here again, step up in the pocket, click on, and you're going to get that. You're going to you're typically going to be able to get in front of it if you click on. If you don't click on, you're not going to be able to do it. But if you click on, you're going to be able to do it. Also, really like to wheel the running back out of this setup. But just a very very simple pass lead inside, click on, and you're going to take that with Julio Jones. We'll show you this one more time against Cover Three because Cover Three has given us a little bit of issues. One other thing is with this. Right in that pocket, right in that window right there. But you'll see, if that route's not open, as you've been seeing, if that route's not open, this running back route will be wide open. You'll see here this little quick shoot route to the flat. Running back's gonna be wide open, and we're off against that uh, cover three zone. Here's a classic cover three zone. Uh, I'll show you this real quick here. And you see how uh, Stephon Gilmore is just matching the crap out of that route. Um, cover three match does give that route a little bit of issues, but that's when you're going to go to your play ATL cross. ATL cross is really good. you got that wide receiver cross, which also got that stock fade from Julio Jones on the left side of the screen. So basically with this, I'm going to make it look just like Sale, but this time he's going to be going on a wide receiver cross. And you're going to see typically that route is going to do okay against man-to-man. -man. But where it's really going to make its money is zone coverage. So uh, if they run cover two, cover three, any of those coverages, what you're going to see is this Atlanta cross little play right here. Very, very simply, you get that deep cross right there on that outside. Julio Jones is going to pull the corners out of the way and create a window of opportunity for you to throw that crossing route. This, I believe, is cover three. Click on, and you're going to get that toe tap down. So basically a high or low read with that crossing route. Then the next play that I like to run is Bunch Trail. Bunch Trail is simply one of the best plays every single year. This is a corner route. It's got this trail route that is really good, and I love the fact that it's got this route to Calvin Ridley. So one of the things that I – literally you can just run this as is. There's really no setup required. But what you're going to see is this trail route is going to get over most of the yellow zones, and you're going to be able to dot it up. Now, typically they're going to choose. Are they going to take the trail route, or are they going to take the uh, the running back – or not the running back, the um, – are they going to take the trail route or are they going to take the little mesh sit route against zone? So here you see most of the time, most of the time, they're, the user is going to take the trail, but the computer is going to take the underneath drag uh, hook. So what you'll see is something like this. Now you go to trail and you'll see that this little drag is going to sit right there in the zone and that's a really, really good little route. I love how it sits against zone. Now, if they go man to man, let me show you what happens with this. So we're going bunch trail. Watch Calvin Ridley. It's going to cross all the way against the defense, and completely different type of route concept. And that's cover four, I think specifically. I'm going to show you man to man. These routes typically will go against cover four and against cover two man. But what you see here, bunch trail. He's running the drag, click on. Obviously you wanna make that user catch and you're gonna be able to get up field. So you've got a couple of really, really solid plays here. Uh, ATL verticals, this is a play I really like against off coverage. So if they're running a lot of cover four, a lot of cover three, you're going to want to run this little vertical route here. What you're gonna see here is this route to Calvin Ridley. If you get him out wide, this is part of why you wanna run that bunch to the wide side of the field. If you get him out wide enough, Probably about the numbers he's going to get out there, snap throw, and you're going to be able to slip that ball right in behind the defense. I actually really like to run this, um, like if they're running cover three, I really like to run this route, um, get them way out there, way out in the numbers, almost to a point where they're going to stop and go. And I find that actually a little stop motion snap and go at the snap of the ball does help a little bit in zone coverage specifically. Um, not so sure about man coverage this year. Man coverage, it's a little bit more difficult. But you'll see against cover four, like this is a dot. It's it's open all day long. You can possession catch that in that situation. But overall, this, this route concept is going to consistently beat cover four, cover three, pretty much anything that doesn't have a flat zone out there. Here's man to man, you'll see here. 
Now, if your receiver just has a speed advantage and they don't, and they take the safety away, you can throw that. Uh, you can throw that. And then, just for fun, you have one of the best plays in Madden 21. Clear out, SC out. What a great play. All you're going to do is motion this receiver out to the right, and you're going to snap, throw it, fade that route out to the right side, and you're typically going to be able to get that up over top of cover two man press. So if they're pressing out of cover two man, you see here, if I motion him out, just get him out to about the numbers, snap of the ball, and I'm just going to bullet pass it outside and up, and you see you're going to be able to get over the top. What I love about that route is it also gets over top of a lot of cover two defenses. So clear out SC out again, motion this guy out, receiver, snap of the ball, and again, same pass lead right off that edge. And again, it's a little bit tender. Do need to lab this up a little bit, but I find this specific route on both sides of the field, right? Both sides, whether it be right or left side of the field, this specific route consistently is going to do really, really good things for you, especially if you pass it that hard into the outside, as you see right there, you're gonna get that swerve catch on the outside angle. I'll show you this one more time here on the left side of the field. Um, this is just straight cover two, I uh, think cover two sink. What you're gonna see here is you can get this over the top of the safety, over the top of the uh, the safety a lot of times. If they're not, if they're if they're in cover two sink, all right. If they're in cover two sink, one of the things you can do is you can just take the running back and put him on a quick uh, a quick swing pass, quick whatever out. And what you'll see is it's gonna free things up against zone. You still have this read all day long against man. I wouldn't necessarily lob the ball if if the safeties are taken away. Then I would lob the ball all day. If they do something like this, what you're going to see is this play is going to force them to play over top coverage, and over top coverage is not something you want to do against the bunch this year um, because of how you can just kill them with the quick routes. But this is just taking the safeties away. We're going to press up and man, and you're going to see Calvin Ridley is going to beat that corner over top every single time uh, for an absolute dot against cover two man. So what they're going to have to do if they want to run a scheme like that is they're going to have to drop these purple zones, something like this, will shake coverage over top action. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see that this corner is going to, to basically play what's called a bail technique on that receiver, play over the top coverage. And now it's pretty much just a speed match. If you have the speed advantage, you can beat him. But as you see here, Calvin really does not have that. He's not able to beat it. That's because they've shaded the coverage over top. What that means for your offense, though, is if you go to run, let's say you're running um, pad sale. I'll show you this real quick. Let's say you're running pad sale, right? Snap the ball. This is shade top over top coverage. Or actually, I'm sorry. I think this was cover four. My bad. Let me get that. Let me get that man coverage for you, so we can show you that shade coverage over top. What you're going to see here, this is Pat's sale. This is why this little route's so good, because it the purple zones don't actually get out on it. The purple zones only get out on it when it cuts to the outside for a good several, several, several yards. What's going to happen is that route is going to get open with a low ball pass right in the middle here. You're going to see right here, right when he breaks, right there, click on, and you're going to be able to throw that before he gets to any zones. Um, you can literally, you don't even have to motion snap. Let me show you this real quick. So let's show you this purple zone. And what you see here is Calvin Renly is going to get in a very interior spot on the defense. And you're going to be able to hit that read um, against man to man. Typically with a low ball. And you can motion him a step too, it doesn't hurt. The motion does help a little bit with the man beating techn or, uh, technique. But yeah, that's pretty much, um, most of the time, you know, what you're gonna force them to do is you're gonna force them, if they're gonna play man at all, they're gonna have to play shade coverage over top man. And when you get to play shade coverage over top man, the low balls are pretty much consistently there. The other thing that's consistently there when you play shade coverage over top man to man is this sail route from the left side receiver. You see there, we're gonna click on, 
That's going to be a very simple read. So if they go man, they're kind of screwed. If they go zone, they're kind of screwed. That's the hallmark of a good base formation, right? Going to be able to beat every stock coverage in the game from this shotgun bunch scheme here. So it's a quick little mini scheme. Again, we're going to add to this tomorrow. And by the end of the week, you'll have a full scheme out of Atlanta's playbook. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tips so you can catch tomorrow's video. Remember, we are posting four times a day here on YouTube, so we got two more videos to go for today. And we also have our uh, full live stream tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. We will see you there. And last but not least, if you haven't already, join the Discord because you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. You want to be better at Madden, you need to associate yourself with better Madden players, and we have that for you waiting over at our Discord.